Hello again. Well, it's still my play day and I've got leftover paints to use up and I'm, I want to try another experiment, something I haven't done before, but I've seen several creators on YouTube doing. And that is using a balloon and doing a balloon roll <laughs> with a balloon full of water. And I'm really, really hoping it doesn't burst on me, so I've got it in a bowl just in case. But I'm interested in rolling it around the uh, foam board, which I have attached to another cooling rack. Um, and just see what happens with these colours, because I've got so many leftover ones. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start by just putting the colours randomly on the board. Then I am going to swipe over, the, over them. There's no silicone in them. And then I will try balloon rolls. Here's my piece of plastic for swiping. It was used as a cover on a folder with um, the ring, ring binder thingy <laughs> in it. And I will just use that to go swipe down the, um, the piece of board. Right, I will put my colours on now. I'm using dark blue, red, uh, turquoise, yellow ochre and my mix of rose gold as my surface colours and then I am going to put phthalo green over the top to draw the plastic across. Okay, so just get rid of some air bubbles, especially as I had to mix up a little more uh, colour into one or two of the pots as they were starting to um, get too low for what I wanted to do. That's looking better. And now to run my green across the, this end. It looks good. Looking great. Lots and lots of colours. I hope they spread out across the um, across the foam board comfortably. I need nice thick colours and I've just realised I forgot one. So I will quickly add that to my pour. Of course is my white. Right, that looks a lot better. I knew I needed a, a minimum amount of paint to be able to do a good um, swipe and also to be able to run the balloon through it. So now I'm going to get my piece of plastic and swipe it down the board. I swiped a lot of paint off there, oops, and got a few drips. I wasn't intending on taking off quite that much paint. I think I have probably overswiped because um, I'm, I've taken a lot of paint off it and that means the balloon probably won't roll around it as much as I would like. And because the paints are thin, it is also going to create a problem for me because it means that I'm going to have... Um, the um, balloon not picking up and showing the colours to their best advantage. Right, so to get my balloon, but before I do, give it a bit of a torch. There are so many bubbles. 
and of course they're creating those little dots that you can see with the colours. Okay, and I'll see now what I can get. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Oh, before I start, I need my... Um, my pieces of tissue, paper towel, to um, wipe the balloon off with. I'm not sure how much wiping I'll actually do. I may just take the balloon through the side with more colour and then transfer it over to the side that doesn't have much colour just to give it some more, give it a different effect. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, Deary me. It's a little on the heavy side. incredibly pretty. Oh, I'll know next time not to have the balloon quite so full of water but it is really pretty. Gosh! I had no idea there was still that amount of paint still left on there. I think I better stop now. I'm running out of places to put the balloon. Well, I'm going to give it a wee slight tilt now. That has been quite an eye-opener for me as I thought I had taken a lot of paint off, which I did. And now, to actually have the um, amount of colour swiping is quite... Mm, quite something. So, just get my gloves on very quickly. There we are. And I want to actually tilt in that direction and just take some of that green off if I can because I love the rest of it. Just, just gorgeous. Loving the colours. But I do want to get rid of some of the green without mm, disturbing the pattern. Mm, could be a problem. I think I might have to roll the balloon again. One more time, over here, through the green. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, it's got made it a little muddy. What a shame. Never mind. I'll try it again. Just dipping it this time. To try and get rid of that mud. Ah, oh, that's better. Good. Wow, it actually dips really, really well for the, for the size of the balloon. Dips incredibly well. I must remember this. The, obviously the weight, the additional weight in the balloon helps it to sit down on the paint better. I don't want to have mud coming through. Right, that's it. Okay, so that's been wonderful practice for me. That is not only doing the water balloon roll, but also doing this picture with a swipe without any silicone in it. And it's just a rainbow 
mix. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to leave that now as it is because I can see some gorgeous paint underneath and I want to get out my cabochons and do some dips. So I will be back soon with my cabochons and my camera repositioned so I can show you a few more of my dipping methods. Well, I've got some nice swirly colours down here for my cabochons. And I've done a few with transfers on them. I've got a few here. So I'll pick what I want to, to use. Okay, I'm double dipping a larger oval cabochon here. I want a mix of the rainbow colours, so I'm going to dip off the edge over here. And I'm going to dip down into the yellow and turquoise. That's all right. It's not what I had, had hoped for, but it's all right. It looks a little like a waterfall, although it would be better with a darker color on one side, which I might just do. I will remove the paint there and see if I can get a darker shade next to that. So I'm taking that color off with a wet wipe straight up. And then a dry tissue just to bring the glass back to clear. Dip it again. In a darker green colour I think. Something over here will be good. See how much that changes it? Makes it look quite different now. And I can fiddle with that and fiddle with that until I get something that is really quite stunning. That's the beauty of being able to dip the cabochons in comparison to using skins. When you use a skin, you already have the dried piece. Trying to put several pieces of skins together to make a, a right, really nice colour pattern would be a lot more difficult than just dipping the cabochons. So now I'm going to dip a smaller oval. Same way I'm going to partial dip. I want some of the blues from here and I want some of the pinks from here. And I'm smushing it in to try and get a smushy effect. I'm not sure how well that will work. And I will dip it again in another area just to give it a little more paint on the base. If I wanted to, I can change the colour on the base if I'm not going to be putting it in a bezel tray, if I'm going to put a bale on the back of it and some resin over it to bring up the colours, I could then dip it again in another colour pattern that I might like, such as over here. And I have a completely different pattern on the back now. And I can keep doing that. You can actually do that on a dried one. Once you've dipped and dried, if you don't want to put it in a bezel tray and you want to have the back looking as pretty as the front, once your paint on the back of your cabochon is completely dry, you can then put the um, cabbage, dip it back into paint colours you like for the back of it. There we are. I have again pastel type colours. I'm actually after more of the bright, vibrant shades. So I'm going to have to keep working on these ones. I have a cabochon here with birds and stars and I'm going to try putting that into more of the darker areas to see what I can get. Mm, might be a bit light. Pretty, not stunning. Right, I'm going to take a bit off the edge here, just a little, because I want to put this into here and get those beautiful turquoise colours. Oh, that's lovely. Yes, that's a good double dip, that one. Very pretty. 
a gold butterfly really nice and I would like to get that if I can in some sort of a rainbow color area I actually see the color that I like and I'm going to just dip it into there yes that's lovely that's just what I wanted very very pretty happy with that look forward to seeing how it comes out dry right my last cabochon for this video is my large long I've been eyeing this up and thinking wow I really want to get this on a cabochon except I want color in the middle of it so I might just double dip it by dipping it here flat and then over this oh yes that's lovely oh gosh that is so pretty that is gorgeous I'm very happy with that stunning colors